Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today is going to be this month's faves and flops. If you're new to my channel, these are monthly videos that I do here on Everything Beautiful. And it's basically where I talk about my absolute favorite products that I've tested throughout the month. And then sometimes there are some flops where there are products that I find to be ones that I kind of hated, disliked, thought were kind of disappointing and not worth the purchase. So if you're interested in finding out the products that I've really been enjoying lately, then I encourage you guys to keep on watching. I do encourage you guys to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell so that you will be notified when I upload my new videos. I do post two to three times a week. And um, I just really, really love these videos specifically because I'm confident in these products. I've tested them thoroughly. I have a really good feel for them and what they can offer, at least from my experience. And so I love sharing that with you guys. And majority of my videos, the most of the products are products I've tested here on my channel. So if you watch regularly, you can kind of see which products that I said I liked. Did they actually make it to the favorites of the month? And those are really the ones that are the best. But sometimes there's also products in, in these videos that are products that I kind of have been testing on my own, not even on camera, not even stuff I've posted on my channel. So there's some hidden gems in these videos as well sometimes. So I really do encourage you guys to stay tuned and to subscribe to my channel. I do also have a giveaway going on right now. So I encourage you guys to go ahead and check that out. The description box below will have the information. So yeah, let's just get down to the actual goods. One of the first products that I fell in love with this month is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Divine Neutrals palette. This is the newest collab with Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. And I've honestly loved all of Jaclyn Hill's palettes with Morphe. I really enjoyed her initial, like the Jaclyn Hill palette, volume one. I actually do enjoy the second one. It wasn't my favorite because the colors are all over the place, but it is hands down my go-to for all of my creative looks, especially here on my channel, because it has like almost every color of the rainbow. So you can really do a lot with that palette as well. And this is another one that I genuinely fell in love with. I love the layout of this palette. I love the formulas of this palette. I love the color scheme of this palette. Honestly, there's not a whole lot that I don't love about this palette. Well, there, I don't think there really is anything that I don't love about this palette. So if you actually take a look at this palette up close, you can see the top row is all mattes and it goes from a nice, beautiful cream, kind of pink hued cream, all the way to a nice, chocolatey dark brown in between you have a little bit of warmth um, and some neutrals it really sets you up for everyday looks i literally created this eye look less than like i probably created it in two minutes in my bathroom mirror like, i literally didn't even have to bother looking up close i used one brush and my finger and that was that i had a little glitter too because that's just me but my point in saying that is this is such an easy palette to work with. It's one I go to over the last month. It's the one I've been going to honestly the most out of all the palettes I'm going to talk about today because it's so everyday. It has all the browns you need for a beautiful everyday neutral eye, whether you're going with like literally barely nothing. And then you can also do like an everyday smoky eye. Like everything is so easy to work with. They're pigmented. They are blendable beyond like perfection and they're really beautiful. And then what I love about this palette as well is that when you see the bottom row, they have metallics all along the bottom and it looks like the metallics kind of match the matte that is sitting on top of it. So just aesthetically, it's so pleasing to look at. I love the way it's laid out, as I said, but I also really love the metallics. To be warned though, if you are looking for metallics that are going to just like shine bright like a diamond, these are not those, but I actually genuinely enjoy these because they are a little bit more softer and more subtle. Like this gold on my eye isn't like blinding me from everywhere, but it is much more every day. And so this is just the palette that I would go to probably above almost every palette in my collection right now for those everyday looks. So that is why I love it. The metallics too are so unique and so pigmented. This one here, Risque Business, it almost has a like interesting reddish hue to it. It has such pigmentation 
The, the actual like creaminess to them is incredible and it has enough light reflectiveness that it still gives you enough zhuzh. So really, really love and recommend this palette. It's also pretty affordable. Like the next two palettes that I'm gonna talk about are a little bit more higher priced. The next product that I absolutely fell in love with that could potentially be, you know what? I think it's my favorite product that I'm gonna show you today just for, because there's so much about it that I love. And that is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. Number one, packaging stunning as per usual. You have cheeks and eyes. This is the first time Natasha Denona has come out with a cheek and eye palette. It's so versatile, it's so easy, it sets you up with so much that you can do. Simple to go off of, it makes your life a little bit more simple. It's a little bit more for those like minimalists that don't wanna have a million and one things in their collection, even though I still have that. I really like this. So you have the cream blush, which is absolutely stunning. This is the light one, by the way. There is also a dark one for those with darker skin tones. I really love the shades in this specific one for those lighter skin tones. This is the blush. The formula is incredible. Works underneath and on top of powder. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, like it almost has a bit of like that peachy coral tone to it but it also almost has i don't know almost a, maybe a bit of like a rosiness to it it's very interesting shade the highlight is absolutely stunning as well it's a nice beautiful beautiful champagne and the formula is very finely milled light reflective creamy doesn't emphasize texture it's stunning it honestly is stunning. Then you have the eyeshadow. The reason I love the eye products is because they really truly are just what I love in an eye palette. They're quite neutral. They're not super warm, but they're also not super cool. They're quite neutral. It has, you know, a lighter, almost creamy shade, a medium brown and a dark brown it sets you up for, again, those everyday looks. You could really create any kind of look with these three shades. You could do smoky, you could do simple, you could do cut crease, anything. And then these metallics are just like, it's Natasha Denona, so come on guys. But like, these are just next level. So we have the first one. Like look at how smooth and beautiful those are. They're stunning. And then the lighter one, which is perfect for like inner corner, brow bone, even popping on the middle of your lid to really like do a nice halo eye. Mm. Like look at those metallics, they're just to die for. So I really think a lot of people would enjoy this. It, it gives you so much when it gives you the cheek and the eye. And I honestly think it's worth the price. Like, yes, it's expensive, but you are, are getting a lot of makeup in it. So I do really love that as well. The last eye palette of the, the month that I absolutely fell in love with is on a little bit more of a different color scheme. And it's absolutely to die for. And that is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz, like next level stunning. So this has a bit of a cooler toned color scheme to it. It has a little bit more of that rosy purple tones to it. These formula, the shades and the formulas are what I love about this. Number one, shades are to die for. There's like some galaxy vibes going on here. We've got like a nice like almost galaxy purpley blue duochrome. This is one of the marble shades, which again, when I talk about formulas, like look at that. So it is two different shades kind of swirled together, which is just so unique. It's nothing you've, we've really seen too much. I think I don't think I've ever seen another brand do it. They're so, they're almost like cream to powder and they just are to die for shades. The like basic metallics, they have low shine and high shine, like soft shine and high shine. So the so soft shine gives a very nice creamy, creamy metallic with like a subtle sheen to it. You have like smokier options like that. So creamy, like it's effortless. It's in so intensely pigmented. And then it all, they also have the high shine, which is like these beautiful, stunning, incredible shades like this one right here it's a little bit more of a sheer shade but like look at how intense intensely shiny that is this one on the bottom here and then there's like a bit of a darker one so you can really see the intense shine look at those like intense 
shimmery, shiny shades. And then the mattes, the mattes are incredible. They're some of the best mattes I've ever worked with. They are pigmented, they're blendable. There's virtually no fallout. You know, they don't kick up a lot of product. They're kind of mess free. The metallics are a little bit messier. It gives you so much to do in this palette too. Like there's those pinks, there's the purples, there's kind of like the more earthier tones. Like you could do endless amount of looks with this and that's what I love about this as well. So the next product is from MAC Cosmetics and it is their Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. So this is a product that I actually didn't know if I was gonna even include in today's video because I was like, mm, I don't know if it works that well, but I've really been enjoying this. So I've used it quite a few times this month and I do truly believe that it does help minimize my shine. I feel like it does help control oils. I feel like my the biggest reason, because I have quite a few mattifying primers and this one didn't necessarily like stand out compared to everything in my collection, it is a good mattifying primer. But the reason I love this so much is it's one of the best smoothing primers that's also mattifying. It's hard to find one that's both. It has a nice gel consistency. It's not that silicone-y consistency, but it still minimizes your pores. It makes your texture look much less you know, noticeable. It definitely smooths out texture, smooths out pores for a long time. It lasts a long time. It's true to its claims. And I definitely think it's worth the purchase. So I tried Jaclyn Cosmetics. And let me tell you, that was actually one of my most, I think that was my last video. And so I wasn't sure. I usually don't include products when I just done the video because I like to test them a few times, but I have actually tested these products a few times already. And I already know that I love them. So I don't have every product in here, even though I enjoyed, like I pretty much loved every single thing. There's a few products that I'm not including in today's video that I did did really really enjoy but I just didn't get as good of a feel for and I didn't feel like I could be as confident so I would rather just wait and continue to test them and if I love 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 them like I love these then I'll include them in a future faves and flops but these few products here I just am absolutely obsessed with already which I think says a lot so the first one is actually their cream to powder blush stick I'm obsessed with cream blush if you've watched my channel before you will know that because I literally say it probably every other video. So I'm definitely a sucker for a cream blush. Really just gives you such a beautiful, natural color from within. Creams really just soak into your makeup. They make you look so much more natural, less powdery. And I just love cream blush. But this one specifically was really, really beautiful. Number one, because the formula is, is great. I really, really enjoyed it. I felt like it did melt into the makeup. It was very easy to work with. It wasn't nearly as bright as I expected. And that is another reason I love this is despite how intimidating this looks right here, despite how intimidating this swatch looks right here, it's actually quite a natural blush. So I'm gonna take my fingers, rub this in. Look how much like more natural that looks. Now I added like quite a bit. Um, so when I do apply, I actually apply it either just a very small amount to the cheek or I actually will just apply it to my sponge. And I find that that's the best way if you're just looking for a little bit of a flush of color. If you're looking for something a little bit more bold, you can, it builds very well. So you can either just apply a tiny bit and it's actually like really, really natural or you can build it and you can and get it as bright as you want. I also think that because these are so versatile, like you can add a little bit and it's very natural, but you can build it and it's just as bright as this right here. I feel like they are gonna be very versatile for all skin tones. So I can get away with this shade and it actually was like a million times more natural than I expected, but you can also build it to look like this bright, which on darker skin tones will then turn, like actually show up. So I do think that that is actually really cool. The next one was actually their blush palette. Now I feel like powder blush, I've tested all of them except for this one right here, which I'm still working myself up to test. They all were extremely pigmented, so I do recommend going in with a light hand with this palette, especially when you get into the, the darker shades. And I do feel like they are very, very, very blendable. And despite how bright and dark all these shades look, even if you do build it up to be quite pigmented, they're very easy to blend out, soften edges, and make it work no matter what. It's very different than any blush palette I have. So it's something that stands out in my collection and it's just really, really pretty. The formulas are really nice. They look 
nice and like airbrush on the skin. I am wearing it today as blush and I'm actually wearing this one right here, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful kind of wintry shade. Like as you can see, I just kind of have that like, when you're like outside and your face goes really, really, really rosy from the cold, that's the look I feel like my cheeks have. And it's so pretty, especially for the winter months. And I was a little bit scared to try this color out, but, and I actually went in a little bit heavier than I should have, but it blended out so quickly, so seamlessly. It was so easy to work with. Really recommend this palette as well. If you're interested in more warm tones, more orangey based blushes, they do also have um, another color scheme, but same idea. Then I also really, really fell in love with the lip, lip liners and the liquid lipstick. So I'm wearing both of these today. I've also worn them on multiple occasions within the last week. So the lip liners are extremely pigmented, extremely creamy, and they glide extremely easily. Have you ever had a lip liner where you kind of have to go over a few times for it to really show up? Um, have you ever had a lip liner where it kind of drags it's kind of waxy and it like drags or pulls. It doesn't glide really easy. Or have you ever had a lip liner where it's almost like too creamy where it's slipping and sliding and smearing? These are like the perfect in between. They're extremely creamy, extremely smooth. They glide like a dream, but they're not smudging and smearing everywhere. They have enough firmness to them that it keeps your, you know, nothing bleeds, nothing smears nothing smudges and it also keeps your lipstick wearing for a really long time i do find these are extremely long wearing but very comfortable very easy to use the shades are stunning the one that i've really been loving and the one that i'm wearing today is butter pecan as it's a little bit darker so as you can see it's like a nice kind of tan darker tan nude it has a bit of warmth to it but it's not too warm it's a beautiful lip liner if you're looking for like that darker lip liner with a bit of a lighter kind of like what i'm wearing today i feel like these really flatter the lips as well there's something about the formula that it's just very easy to contour the lips i really 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 have been enjoying these guys and i really think you guys will love them they're 100 worth the hype the liquid lipstick also worth the hype it might not be for everybody a lot of people can be very picky about how they want their lips to look a lot of people like a really sheer glossy look. A lot of people like a more satin finish. A lot of people like a really hydrating, hydrating, you know, dewy, sheen kind of lip products. This is not that. So if you are completely opposed to a matte finish, then obviously this isn't for you. Now, if you like extremely long wearing liquid lipsticks, transfer proof liquid lipsticks, and ones with a matte finish, this is your liquid lipstick. This is one of the best I've tried in a really long time. I did not know it was gonna be transfer proof. Like, I don't have any clean hands here. Nothing. Actually, the first time I tried this, I did a video on it, like my video that I posted my review. I had a really hard time getting it off because I was just using my makeup eraser cloth, which usually removes everything, but some liquid lipsticks I have to go in with an actual wipe or an actual you know, balm or or makeup remover and I would definitely recommend an actual makeup remover for this one because it is a very long wearing formula that sticks to your lips and that is a little more difficult to get off but for me as much as I love that glossy satin finish that just looks so juicy number one it doesn't last very long on me which annoys the heck out of me if I'm going out I really 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 hate when I have to reapply or I have like just my lip liner left or I have it's like half smeared off or it's looking patchy. I absolutely love formulas that last all day. And let me tell you, if you're not eating anything messy, this one will last you all day. It won't transfer onto your mask. It won't transfer onto your glasses. Unless you're like getting them really wet and starting to work the product. Like makeup is not magic. You know what I mean? Like eventually these products are gonna wear off. But this is one of the most long wearing, very matte. So it's not gonna look super hydrating and juicy on the lips. It does look very matte. And for some people, it may look drying to you. It doesn't feel drying though. It feels like a matte liquid lipstick. It's one of the most matte and the most long wearing liquid lipsticks that I own that actually looks still smooth. So we have two more products, guys. We're almost done. Um, the next product I actually forgot upstairs and I really don't wanna go up there right now. I am already out of breath from talking so much. So 
I'm just gonna pop up a picture right here. But the next product that I absolutely fell in love with was another lip liner and it's by Makeup by Mario. So I recently tested their Ultra Suede lip collection. I absolutely love their lip liner. I do really like their lipstick as well, but not as much as I like their lip liner. It is just as good as the Jaclyn Hill, super creamy super long wearing, very easy to use, very precise, actually probably even more precise than these. And I love that it's a wooden pencil. I love these Jaclyn Hill ones, but they are still kind of plasticky and you have to sharpen them. So I really don't understand that. Sorry, Jaclyn, that's the one thing I gotta say about your lip pencils, that is not right. I love wooden pencils because again, they're just so easy to sharpen. You can sharpen it a lot better. And I just think that they're very precise. Again, very pigmented, creamy. They glide beautifully. And I would say that they're actually probably one of my favorite lip liners, maybe even a little bit better than the Jaclyn, just because of the precision. You can really get a beautiful, like perfect lines just for very precise work and i love that last but not least and i actually have no flops today guys there were a few products that were like mm, this is not as good as i expected but it wasn't like awful to the point where i felt like i needed to like be like guys this sucks so there are no flops today and that's really exciting i love months when i'm like you know what guys everything was so good that i don't hate any of it so the next product is very expensive very highly priced and you know if you don't have the money to purchase something like this i want to make it very clear that you do not need to go out and purchase something like this to get good quality but if you have the money to invest in something if you it's something that you want to save up for or if you know, maybe you have some Christmas money coming up from the holidays and maybe it's something you're really interested in, I do think it's worth it. And that's the Pat McGrath highlight. Now, I know they've come out with highlights before, but this is the newest one and it is the very first true individual highlight I've ever tried. And let me tell you, it is so worth it. It is so beautiful, guys. It is one of the most stunning highlights inside and out. Like look at how creamy, light reflective, beautiful, like bam, bam not like sparkly glittery chunky emphasizing texture chalky this is one of the most seamless creamy finely milled that dewy look but in the ease of a powder it is so worth the hype it is definitely overpriced in my mind in the sense that like i cannot believe an individual highlight is this expensive but it's pat mcgrath so you kind of go into, when you're looking at Pat McGrath, you kind of go into it knowing it's going to be ridiculously priced. So I definitely think that even though it's so expensive, it is actually worth it. It is. It is actually worth it. That is my November faves and flops. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you already have these products, I hope you guys are enjoying them just as much as I do. If you do not, and you've been thinking about these products, then I do confidently say that I think each and every one of you will enjoy them as long as it's like something you're interested in it has it's a color scheme you're interested in it like in formula wise everything through and through is stunning personally I love the colors of everything so I'm super super happy with all of these products I'm so excited for next month so December I will not be doing my faves and flops because I will be doing my best in beauty so if you are new to maybe watching YouTube like beauty videos, then Best in Beauty is where most beauty channels, most um, YouTubers that are makeup and beauty based and focused, they do a yearly, either one video, typically multiple videos, where they go through the best products of the whole entire year. And it's some of my favorite videos to do. I am so excited for this year. I think I'm gonna break it down into like categories and I still have a lot of work to do. I need to go through a lot more products, test a few more things to decide which ones I prefer. And then I will be sharing those with you probably near the end of December, early January. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see those. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time.